along the Wapsipinicon River. The Wapsie Wilds project links people, communities, and outdoor recreational resources together. Come on, let's go get wild along the Wapsie. I'm Darren Siefkin with the Wapsie Wilds Project. Geocaching is becoming one of the fastest outdoor growing activities in the country and the world. The Wops Pinnacan River is a great place to go geocaching. Let's go geocaching. When uh, deciding on what kind of geocaching uh, unit or GPS unit to use, it really doesn't matter. They all do the same basic thing for geocaching. Some will just do it maybe better than others. This particular model here is a black and white uh, screen four or five screens, very simple, very easy to use, $100, will definitely do the job. Other units like this one here are $250. They're kind of like today's smartphones in that they have touch screen and you can uh, move around, you can push on buttons, tell it what to do, uh, very easy to use uh, as well. And so they all do the same thing. The other nice thing about this unit it will do is it'll do paperless geocaching. So the information about the geocache will be right on the unit and you don't have to uh, write anything down. All the information about the geocache will be right there. So this particular model is a black and white screen. Uh, one of the four or five pages that you'll be able to look at uh, is just showing you what satellites are giving you satellite strength. If you hit the upper right hand button, uh, it'll go to another screen that either has an individual or a triangle on here and this just shows you where the different waypoints are in relation to where you're at. If you hit the page button again we'll give you a navigation screen and down in this bottom uh, box right here you can actually change what kind of information you want to see whether it be speed, trip odometer, trip time, sunset, sunrise, there's a variety of information you can see in that box. The page button again will take you to your menu screen where you can actually make a, a waypoint by marking a spot. You can create routes and tracks and do some other setup in your GPS unit. So this is another example of a GPS unit that's got a color screen. The other nice thing about it is you can uh, use it as a touch screen like our smartphones today. You can also push right on the button for geocaching. You can even look at a description of the geocache so you have all that information without going back to the internet site. So what is geocaching? Uh, geocaching is a high-tech treasure hunt. Uh, it's been going on for a little over 10 years now. What you do is you use a GPS unit, a global positioning system unit, range anywhere from $100 to maybe $250. Uh, with these units, you'll go to a website called geocaching.com. You'll log in, you'll get coordinates for these geocaches that are out there. There's literally hundreds of thousands of geocaches all over the world uh, that you can go out and find. Okay, we're getting really close. Okay, it says I'm within about 20 feet of it. Need to start looking around, see if you can find it. Hey, look at what I see over there underneath that base that tree. Geocache, do not remove. There's a log book. All kinds of little trinkets in here. So if we take a look at the logbook, get it opened up here. So it looks like since March there's been this many people that have been out here checking it out and the last one was October 13th and so today is October 24th. I'm going to write down that I found it tonight. And we're going to put it all back together. Here's the little trinkets in here. A lot of the kids really like to do this part of the geocaching part of the activity. So you get everything back together. We're going to do a little bit better job of covering this up than it was. So it's not quite as obvious. And there you go. That's geocaching. So remember, when you're going to go out and geocache, think about safety, 
maybe check out the weather before you go on your trip and also make sure you geocache with a friend or family member maybe hang out with the geocachers organization here in the state and let's go geocaching hi i'm darren siefkin from the wapsi wilds project the funding for these video casts have come from the reap cep program resource enhancement and protection conservation and education program other funding for the wapsi wilds project has come from the Iowa Natural Resources Based Opportunity Grant, Cedar Valley Resource Conservation and Development, Crawdaddy Outdoors, the Mitchell County Community Foundation, the Chickasaw County Community Foundation, and the Buchanan County Community Foundation, as well as Farmers Savings Bank in Frederica and Jason Borthman. Thanks for their support, we're able to do these videocasts.